As I say, we have a, a very large, diverse security force. I'm specifically responsible for what you can see behind us, yep. which is uh, the North Plaza platform, the, the bus traffic and stuff like that, yeah. as opposed to other parts. So obviously a lot of this has changed since the original painting was done because this footpath here now comes to a barrier. Obviously barriers to get in and out of the car park. Um, so I think we're still on it. I think. I haven't seen any signs saying like anyone else or. Protected site. Yeah. It still just says pedestrians look both ways, so I'm assuming we're not going to get much further. No. Keep my ears warm. Loads of buses in and out of this place, I've got to say. So, most things seem to be solar powered. Yeah, see the sign saying, go on out of the be on there. Yeah. Well, that's all right, because I wasn't going to climb over them. <laughs> no, no. So, we're all right, I mean, it was still on the I think, I think we're okay. Um, we'll have a little look-see. I'm just keeping it rolling guys because you never know when uh, you may be approached. So TGA's just been stopped, the guy's shouting after me, something like that, not recording. So, so there's another zero harm green route. We've got a sight speed limit. So this isn't lit up, so I'm assuming they only use that at certain times of the day, possibly. I don't know. So. Hello mate, how you doing? How we doing gentlemen? Something tells me you're going to tell us we shouldn't be here. I'm going to ask politely who you are and explain to you I'm Rob Reynolds, I'm the North Plaza okay. Security Supervisor, it's nice to meet Thank you. Thank you very much you? indeed. Um, we're just wondering what you're up to. My friend was down here filming a year ago, mm -hmm. this is an update to what he filmed back then, uh, just um, seeing how things have changed. Uh, and. You probably talked to my colleagues on the South Plaza I last time. I didn't uh, come. It would have I didn't come. Uh, well, um, they were G4S as well. So. Uh, yeah, they would have yeah. been. Yes. We've spoken to the guy over at the accommodation. Mm -hmm. uh, very professional, got to say. Mm -hmm. Very polite, very friendly. You're looking exactly. a bit concerned. <laughs> just, um, just so we've both got uh, proof of the engagement, if you'd like to turn on your camera, just for our safety. That's fine. Yeah. Well, as you can tell, we're, yeah. we're recording. Absolutely. We're and that's, turn on our that's for our safety as well, because well, the camera doesn't really lie. Understand. Um, well, I, said, I could. Rob Reynolds. I could turn um, that one on as well. Badge operative for G4S security team up on North Plaza. Is there anything in particular I can help you with, with today, guys? Some information would be great. Uh, that will depend on <laughs> exactly what. You Obviously, like to... non-secret stuff. So uh, just general stuff that you could find in the general sort of domain of papers, newspapers. Well, I'm happy to have a conversation sort of with you, gentlemen. Yeah. Um, for safety purposes, if someone does start making their way up... Of course, this is why I'm staying so. over to the left, oh, yeah. yeah. Obviously, there is live traffic going around and stuff like that. So should we ask questions and you say whether you can answer them? Would that be a fair... <laughs> I'll be as professional as possible for you, sir. Absolutely. These, these rusty-looking things. Oh, the, the dome, sir? Yeah. Yes, sir. I mean, I'm assuming they've been here from when this part started to be built, which is quite some time now. Okay, sir. Any idea what they are? 
Me, myself, sir? No, I'm not nope. an engineer. Don't call um, me, sir. I work for a living. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just, it's play to be played. Of course, it? no, that's um, fine. To be honest, I appreciate sir, that. With the construction side of things, apart from the obvious, those are tower cranes. Oh, yeah, you've got a few of them, haven't you? Is that, uh, that is the nuclear reactor there, isn't it? That structure behind there. The that large. tower there, sir, I believe is one of the main units. Yes, yeah. wow. that's one of the main units that's going on. Absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. You okay, gentlemen? Do you know how many there's going to be? Oh, absolutely. That's absolutely fine. That's, that, that, and that's really interesting to see seeing the reactors oh, actually yeah. being built. To be honest, it's so complicated so, and for the of technology course, yeah. is so advanced like you're asking a security guard about no, the that's, nuclear that's fine. <laughs> Really, it's just pinpointing what sort of things are so when we come back in December next year we can see the next stage of improvement. Would you mind if I, is this one of those uh, sort of public audit things that I've seen on YouTube and stuff like that? Is that We often they... get confused for different things. Okay. I don't know how you'd like to describe yourself. I'm a citizen journalist or a YouTuber that makes First documentaries Amendment on... Like oh, no, 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 no. That sort of thing? Sort of well, First Amendment's con America. Content creators, anyway. Just yeah, okay. yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Things. You know, COVID hit a lot of people through work. It's like, pick up a camera, go out. Mm -hmm. if, if people watch the content, gets to the adverts, you might of be course. able to afford a cup of coffee and a burger on the way home. Of course. Well, my friend, there's a, yeah. just, just a gentleman passing down behind you. Hello, John. Have oh, you met him, have you? I did. I was just saying you might want to step up. Oh, right. Sorry, I thought you'd met him before. No, yeah, no. so, um... What about you? Yeah, absolutely yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. Filming? Yeah. Yeah. Just, just really a general interest. Any more? Any, any questions? Are there, uh, any there's probably questions? loads. I'll let my colleagues speak, because, no, you know, what, he's... What we wanted to ask is... Come on, TGA, come well, up a bit. Effort, we'll keep uh, a distance. Come up, so, <laughs> I, so I can pick effort, you up as well. Up at Breen, up at Breen. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. um, other things up there. Apparently, HPC staff are supposed to be housed up there. I've heard a contract's gone out to tender in the local area. I, we don't get any given any details as opposed to staff and locations or anything. As I say, we have a, a very large, diverse security force. I'm specifically responsible for what you can see behind us, yep. which is uh, the North Plaza platform, the, the bus traffic and stuff like that. Yeah. As opposed to other parts. Yeah, anyway. Cheers. Thank you. There is an awful lot of buses, aren't there? And yet they seem to be empty. Both in and out. There's very few people on it depends them. Depends on what part of the day you come in at, sir. Right. Being, okay. So they're a, running them anyway. Well, it's it's a logistical network. It has uh, ups and uh, sort of surge periods, yeah. and quiet periods, yeah. but it's got to run consistently for obviously various needs. Yeah. And is that just back to that accommodation, or do they take them further afield? As I say, the, the a, what do they call it out there? Uh, I forgot what it's called. The campus. The, campus. the campus. The sort of bus network you're, you're referring to does supply a large proportion of Somerset area right, to okay. furnish the site with the appropriate number of staff. Is that more for locals though? I, I wouldn't say how far afield they actually go, but I do know it, it, it does furnish a wider area in Somerset sort of uh, sure. district. Um, I might, I do believe I see Bristol buses every now and then, but again, oh, wow. the majority of the bus there is, is just the local area. So is, is there a local job centre that we could go in and see what jobs are on? Offer? There's jobs fairs, sir. They launch right, jobs okay. fairs, as opposed to, because we're trying to capture employment from the, the entire Somerset area yep. and wider, wider southwest they do job fairs right um, okay they don't have a specific location there was an edf shop in bridgewater right back okay. during the pandemic that was you know obviously like a lot of places um pulled back into the fold and now it is just pop-up fairs where people are allowed to go ask questions meet the tier ones different contractors and stuff so we we were saying when we arrived it's a pity you haven't got a visitors center we do visitors tours sir do they? Yes. So how would we book one of those? Obviously, we wouldn't get one today. I can understand website, that. Sir, I Through the website. It's on the website. Now, the, the stage we're at, uh, whether there's going to be a future planned visitor centre, I believe there's one in the scope long term, like right. a long way down the road. But as where they are right now, everything is going up, coming down. Things are, the, yeah. the site's very yeah. fluid. And, th and this is why people are interested, because obviously, Hinkley A. Uh, you've got A over there, yep, B's How over there. How much longer has that got to go to be fully decommissioned? Because I did Barclay a while back and they reckon they're going to be there another 20 years. To be honest, sir, the, the A and B stations, again, wildly not, out of my area. Uh, not your remit. Uh, absolutely. Understandable. Sir. Different security contracts, different, different sure. plant operators. Can we get round to those from here? You can walk, sir. There is a way of going back down there. Yeah, we left road. the Mercedes at there the top of the hill. There is a pedestrian walk where I would stress heavily to he knows stay. i'm joking <laughs> <laughs> i would stress yeah. heavily there is a walkway yeah but just to let you know past the, the big heavy gates that you just walk by did you see them the big sort of dragon's oh, leaf gates yeah, 
Over hey, this, no. over this bit. Yeah, yeah. If you go back out here and just take a right. Yeah, yeah. Those come through are there. Actually, the beginning of the nuclear estate. So once you pass those, while still got public a right way, you have entered the. the Is there any signage estate. saying that? Because of course, as I've come up, I'm filming into here, talking mm -hmm. about Wessex Water and stuff. And there was nothing on that gate. Now I didn't look over my shoulder. Uh, to be honest, sir, I haven't been down to look right, inside okay. the, uh, in the recent uh, recent memory. Yeah. But what I will say is, as you see this fence line here, yeah. that's obviously the beginning of the yeah. site license conditions yeah. for the Owen. Oh, that's yeah. defining yeah. The, the nuclear estate of HPC. Yes. But however, the wider Hinkley nuclear estate begins at those gates. Right. So gotcha. while there are public rights away, you know, safety is paramount for us. We've also got we've also got a desire to make sure of you, you have. Yeah, yeah. Well, this this is why around. we love signs like this because I was going to say they're quite evenly spaced out. They are up to here, and then they sort of spread out a little bit. But we we always take notice of those. We don't mm -hmm. cross anywhere we're not meant to. We don't climb barriers. Mm -hmm. Go, you know, if something's shut, we leave it shut, even if it's unlocked, because no, it's not our job to open it. Especially um, when we see a sign like that that says. Uh, no one authorised access to the protected site in section 128 mm -hmm. of the Ground Police Act. There you go. And it's quite clearly defined, which is good. The, so the Sockwell Boundary is a very interesting uh, mm. legislative act. Uh, again, oh, sorry, General, would you mind? That's okay, yeah, no, please do. That's uh, my colleague. Um, yeah, have you got any further questions? Anything um, I can answer? I'm I think, I think you've been, for me, pretty good. Mm -hmm. I don't know, very good, but Thank pretty you. good on answering what we need to know. There's, I mean, I want to ask questions like, you know, are you renting the cranes on a long-term contract? How much are they? That's uh, to, my interest. To give you a me. breakdown, sir, the stuff going on there is what we call civils. That right. would be the civil engineering aspect. Okay. Again, yeah. you can imagine with the, the the sort of the supply chain network for this extends all the way out to the outer quadrants and beyond of, of course, Europe. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, it contains hundreds yeah. of tier ones, twos, and three contractors. Yeah. I, oh, it's a massive, massive I really massive couldn't project. even begin to tell you how complicated that might be to answer, as in, yeah. I don't know if it's owned, yeah. rented, bought. Sure. All I do know is we... They're normally rented, aren't they? We consider them civil engineering. A yeah. um, bit, bit like the fencing, it's nearly always rented on sites, but yeah. the rental on this site, if it is all rented, is going to be running into millions, isn't it? Well, to give you an idea, so, sir, all of this infrastructure is owned by a different tier yeah. uh, stakeholder to that main Again, fence line. Yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all got a lot of So, parts. have any of the people that supply all this stuff got any Chinese contacts? I would know, sir. Because you know, obviously, China and and the they're, the French energy are the people that own it. Uh, an yeah, they're quite obviously an investor. They're quite obviously an investor in the project. Yeah. Um, and that's and this is all supplied, launched. obviously. Uh, personal protective equipment is yep. legally supplied by the uh, yep. whichever stakeholder you work for. And uh, plenty of it. So yeah, you know absolutely. you haven't got to worry about wearing something Some dirty. Some of the best PP in the country, actually. Yeah, um, yeah that certainly looks like a good old uh, vest, very okay. similar to the police. Uh, it's practical. I think yeah. it's actually become widely adopted now. It has, yeah. Vest for security. Yeah. Um, I think it's because it has these quick clips, allows us Perfect. to carry things up your hand, so we can without exactly. us having to stand here with a camera in one hand, and yeah. it just allows us to talk more. Yeah. Know, more well, we both first. we both have body cams. I don't tend to turn mine on if you're approaching in a friendly way. No. If it gets a bit iffy, I say to him, I'm putting on my body I always I've, I've it watched it. some of the engagements and I, I find them um, quite harrowing, actually, uh, on, <laughs> on both sides of the party. I find some auditors can be, you know, unnecessarily belligerent. And so what, what is an actual auditor then? As far as I'm aware, it's people that understand the civil legislation acts towards the ability to film, question, right, approach okay. uh, different areas of pub, uh, public society right. uh, or public life, sorry, and uh, it's how they get challenged approach and uh, so G4SN, do they give you training on that? To a certain extent, sir. To right, a certain okay. extent, there, there, is a, there is a modernisation going on within the British security industry, along with Martin's Law. I'm sure you've heard about the legislative yep. acts changing since the Manchester yep. incident. Yep. Um, the idea that we better understand social media, um, civil liberties, uh, again, person-to-person -person contact, the peer-to-peer -peer sort of risk management side of things, because a lot of things can be mitigated with better communication. And I think we, we've all transited away from that 1990s door supervisor field into a more more appropriate sort of professional industry, if you will. I'm, I'm really glad you've said that because I've come across G4S at other establishments, including Barclay Power Station and um, what's the other one over that way? Oldbury. Oldbury Power Station, both being decommissioned and your company, but nowhere near as professional as you. 
that's very kind of you um, to say. And that's why I asked about what training are they receiving because when we suggest to them that maybe they need to go away and instead of just sitting there watching a the camera when nothing's happening, read something, learn something because if you do trample on people's rights, it can create a whole lot of problems for lots of people. And the only people that benefit are the people that are solicitors or barristers, aren't I they? I couldn't agree more, you know? sir, as, a, as a, a British veteran. I'm very big into people's liberties, freedoms uh, and rights. I've got to ask then, who did you serve with? Royal Marines. Oh, well done that man. <laughs> Thank you very much. What command are you in it? 40 for a lot of it, and then command support group down in uh, Plymouth for a little while. Okay. So um, I've got a friend just moved from Plymouth down to Taunton. Is he Taunton he's gone? I think it's Taunton he's just gone. I did notice the Bren gun. Uh, Do you like that? Yeah, it's very smart. It normally comes off after uh, Poppy Day, but I've left it on this year for, for oh. obvious reasons. But uh, Gentlemen, honestly, you'll never find no bigger... Uh, you won't find a bigger advocate for the ability to express yourselves than myself. Uh, and we just want everyone to be safe. And uh, Well, not only have you been an advocate for G4S, and Hinkley, but you've been an advocate for the Royal Marines because any ex bootneck I've ever come across has always shown the utmost respect, right. unless it gets a bit nasty. And then we all know <laughs> ex forces at all because you look like you could possibly be an ex baggy ass Matt, though. <laughs> you know, it's the beard and everything. You just look, don't you? You look so he could be on the on the helicopter deck on a ship, don't he? To be honest, sir, he's, um, <laughs> he's uh, what I consider professional commercial security. And right. He's, uh, he adds a, a really important dimension, especially when doing things like this, because yep. when you, you, you bump into potentially G4S or ex-veterans, yep. people have a, sometimes a preconception of a stereotype. Of course, yeah. Uh, my team is widely diverse, very inclusive. We have many members from all different aspects of Europe uh, and uh, social backdrops, and it's it's really beneficial. That's good. Like That's this. good. Well, I can tell you're a good team. Do you say team leader or team manager? I'm I'm a supervisor. Supervisor. Well, I can tell you that you lead your team well, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Yeah. That's very kind of you. Right, we won't keep you any longer because no, although it's actually warming up, my ears are still cold. It, 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 this morning, it's big very ears. Very cold. But, um, no way away from it. Is listen, it? I, will, I will give you one of those. I'm going to shake yours because it's slightly it's different. Kind of um, thank you for no. being professional. Do you know what, gentlemen? Um, I, I wish you the best of days. If you could go down there, if you're going to carry on the train, could you stick to the footpaths for us? Yeah. These buses are, are we large. We try to as much as possible, including the public ones that are around, where they're a bit no, boggy now because the sun's getting on them. But uh, yeah, we, we'll try not to upset anybody. Okay. All right. Gentlemen, as I said, my name's Rob Reynolds. I'm the North Plaza Security Appreciate Advisor. It. This is Jamie Wilson. He's one of the security officers. And we hope you've had a, a nice, nice Do you know what? You've, you've almost ended that as you were going through your sergeant's car. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, have a great day. Thank you very and much. And you. Thanks very much. Thank Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that be Jack, huh? Was he was he shouting me by the way Honestly, when he was talking to you? I must say, I must say, the most yeah he was. Yeah, he was <laughs> oh, that guy you mean? The guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah God, I say, Rob, gotta be the most professional security guy I've ever come across. Superb, isn't he? <laughs> what what? I mean, G4S. If they were all like him, we wouldn't yeah, be able to do what we do. More. He should train them. He should be a trainer, should shouldn't train he? More. Maybe I'll contact G4S and tell him that. Anyway, we're going to have a wander up around the other side. So yeah, we will have a wander to the old part of Hinkley Point. So you're only going to see, although there's a bit of uh, a bit of construction going on. Just dropping a bit of that. I don't know what they call that. Is it uh, shuttering or something? It's what they tend to put in, isn't it? To reinforce when they're putting in concrete and stuff. I'm sure one of you lovely viewers will leave a comment. And um, while we're on that subject, if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up, both me and TGA, the Gwent Auditor. We will, uh, pick this back up in a and of course, if you haven't subscribed to his channel, get on there. He's just approaching another milestone. It'd be nice if we could get him over it before Christmas. So we might make this into a double video. It might be one big one, I don't know yet. So in case, I'm gonna say expose and educate from Hinkley Point C with TGA. Um, catch you on the next one, but we've just spotted a little Battenberg car at the end of the road. So I'm gonna turn it off and save a bit of battery and pick it up when we get closer.